So you guys probably thought that since Neat Mike made his videos about the worst versions of Rocket League, yeah, you thought that you'd seen the worst of it. I'm here to tell you, you haven't. Actually, I'm here to show you. So a few videos ago, I spent a bunch of time learning how to make some ass Rocket League bots using this platform called Scratch. So Scratch is basically for low-level programming. You can make all sorts of stuff on there. And like I said in that video, it's actually geared towards kids or just idiots. But you can do more than what I did in that video. You can actually make games, like actual games on there. And I got a message from someone saying that I should try out the Rocket League games that are on there. So I jotted it down as a video idea in my shitty Rocket League ideas folder, and I left it, but it haunted me for weeks. Were there actually people who had remade Rocket League using Scratch? And if there were, what were these games like? What would it feel like to, you know, play a different version of Rocket League? Finally, I just couldn't wait any longer. I had to experience these potentially new versions of Rocket League. Turns out, there's like 10 pages of endless Rocket League on Scratch, and it's all the same crap. Well, kind of. Also, there's this beautiful Neat Mike fanboy animation that may give you epilepsy if you watch it for too long, which I did because it's amazing. But yeah, there's a bunch of Rocket League games on here. This one's kind of nice because they actually used real Rocket League cars. Really, you chose the Proteus and the Vulcan as your two cars. Yeah, I need two cars here uh, for my Rocket League game. Oh, hey, you play Rocket League. What are like two really popular Rocket League cars I can use for my game? Yeah, yeah, it's for a class. Oh, the Proteus and the Vulcan. Okay. You're sure it's not like the Octane or something? Oh, okay. Thanks, man. There's also something going on with the steering. I don't know what it is, but it's just way more choppy. Like the car doesn't even turn. <laughs> it's just like gliding around. Some of the real gems are found in the sound effects and the music. Like some of this is top-notch sound quality. It's almost as bad as that tennis update for Rocket League a while back. Vote in the comments below, would you rather have the ball sound like a tennis ball or a violent punch to the kidneys? Let us know in the comments below which you would pick. Next we have probably the best version of Rocket League on Scratch, and it's called 2D Rocket League. Now this guy, Happiness Emulator, he's actually made some legit stuff on Scratch, like this project where you can fuse random things together to get new things. Anyways, back to 2D Rocket League. So the red car is controlled by the arrows, and the blue car is controlled by WASD, and there's two full boost containers on the side, and you can see how much boost you have. So V is boost for the blue car, L for the red car, and of course it's Bubbles Boost, because who doesn't love Bubbles Boost? All of the projects on here are basically cheap imitations of this one right here. This is hands down the best one. Although you could make a case for this one where the car is giant and the ball gets stuck to the inside of your car, that one's pretty good. Or this one where they actually just copied that one and made the background that you're driving on the Rocket League loading screen instead of like an actual Rocket League map. So fun. Such good times, guys. Or what about this online one? I bet that one's fun. Not online. Multiplayer. Other car does not work. And did I mention it's not online multiplayer? <laughs> Clickbait. Clickbait. F you, egg is bacon. You lied. I thought that I'd have matchmaking and shit on this website. Like I thought this would be my chance to have good matchmaking, but you just over by lying to us. Okay, I'm sorry to whoever made this. I'm sure it took you a long time, and I'm sure I couldn't do this. Seriously, I couldn't. But I think we have found the single worst Rocket League version ever. Rocket League by PJMCD. Using Merc knockoffs was probably the best thing, but then it all went downhill from there. <laughs> what the hell? I can't get my car to turn. It will only do one command at a time, so like, it won't switch from going straight to turning. I have to like, stop going straight to then turn. <laughs> It's honestly so hard just to hit this ball. And why does the ball look exactly like the boost pads? I feel like he put all this work into putting boost on the field. And then when it came time, you know, to make the cars drive and stuff, he was like, screw this, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Which I can't even hit on him. That's exactly how I would be if I made something like this. I actually did try to make my own and I gave up after making one car that could like drive forwards and sideways. So I think this game might beat everything in Neat Mike's old video. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Wait a second, okay, what is this? This is probably the least aesthetic version I found on here, but it's actually really fun. All of these 2D simulators keep trying to make it like too realistic. So they have the ball like rolling and then stopping and stuff. This one was just like, who cares? 
cares? Let's make the ball continually keep bouncing. And it's actually way more fun because it's basically Pong, but with cheap Rocket League cars. Props to you, Mr. Mittens, mom. You are what we all strive to be. But my personal favorite is probably this one, Rocket League 2. The official Rocket League 2. You heard it here, leaked. Just for you guys, this is legit. Okay, what the hell is happening to these cars? I didn't do anything. The game just started and like it's freaking out and I can't even move my car. You know, I guess if this is the only bug, it's still probably less buggy than Rocket League 1, right? And if the servers are good, what else can we ask for? I'm down. If this is Rocket League 2, I'm down for it. Now I found something even more amazing on this site than 2D Rocket League. Crate opening simulators. That's right, and they function like the good old fashioned gambling crate openings where the items swing by like it's Wheel of Fortune. This one actually has 22,000 views, so you know it's good. And you probably gotta think like 10,000 of those views are just John Sandman like late at night just sitting in front of it, just clicking over and over again, just reminiscing about the good old days. Oh my god, my first mystery decal. Hexed, let's go. Can't wait to put this one on my car. I think the moral of the story is that Rocket League, like the actual Rocket League, is a pretty amazing game when you think about it. And if you really want to have like a new appreciation for it, even with, you know, servers kind of sucking sometimes or whatever, just go play some of these really terrible versions and then go get in Rocket League and you'll be like, wow, Rocket League is amazing. So yeah, I'll put links in the description for you guys to come try these out. Let us know what you think. What's your favorite janky version of Rocket League and why? All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace out.